families of the deceased ANC supporters are visibly shaken. Their loved ones died on Saturday while traveling on the R71 road in Mahobastluf. The bus they were traveling in was ferrying ANC supporters to Mbombela. Now the painful process of positively identifying their relatives has been done. Yesterday we, 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 we got a visit from the African National Congress, Mola Mola sub region, uh, and then uh, to come and tell us that out of the people that uh, were on the scene, out of those five people, then uh, they suspect that five uh, of them will be uh, our loved ones. Is that is why these five families, uh, four families, uh, managed to come yesterday to come and verify so that we can do the positive verify confirmation as families. Medical examiners will release post-mortem results to the families during the week. We are going to, to be meeting the, the families. We started the process yesterday. Today we are expecting them to bring their ID and the IDs of our loved comrades that have departed so that together with South African Police Services who are already here, we must start uh, with the positive identification process so that immediately when we are done, our pathologists must start with the uh, post-mortems or autopsies uh, so that by tomorrow I'm expecting uh, that the team would have completed the autopsies so that the process of preparation for burials can, can start. 57 passengers from two buses involved in the crash were admitted across four hospitals. 10 people are still receiving medical care. We can indicate that out of the 57, only a four it remains admitted in Hapani, one in a Van Felden Hospital, uh, two here in Mangueng, and also three in Letaba. Families will start with burial plans after post-mortem reports are concluded. Meanwhile, the ANC held a moment of silence for the crash victims at its anniversary rally on Saturday. Katle Khonyoni, SABC News, Polukwani.